In this topic, we are going to talk about one of the constraints on international performance management, which is non-comparable data. Uh, so you know that uh, uh, in a multinational, there are various different subsidiary units which are working in different parts of the world, uh, and data is coming from different environments. So the performance data, which is coming from these different environments, may not be comparable due to a number of reasons. What reasons could th uh, those be? Uh, it could be uh, non-comparable because of different rules and policies. Um, and these rules and policies may pertain to uh, import duties. Uh, for example, if in one country, uh, the import duty on raw material is higher, and in another, in another, in another country, the import duty is lower, then it means that your cost of production is going to go up. And if, for example, if uh, the cost of exporting, the cost of doing business, uh, as you know that this is a criteria which is measured these days, the ease of doing business in one country is higher and ease of doing business is difficult in the other country, then it means that the performance data of the two countries that is not comparable because it is difficult to do business in one country, it is easier to do business in another country because of the rules and policies and because of the uh, facilitation which is provided by the governments that affects the performance of the subsidiaries working in various different uh, countries. Then another um, uh, constraint is or a point of difference is the taxation laws. So in some countries taxation is very high in other countries, the taxation laws are not that stringent, they are not that strict. Uh, so, um, for example, in the developing countries, the organizations and uh, the multinationals, they have to pay a huge amount of uh, taxes, whereas in the developing countries, the taxation laws, they are not that strict and uh, the taxation uh, percentages, they are not that high. So, the, um, the profit after tax uh, for uh, the individuals as well as for the uh, strategic uh, for, for the subsidiary units that becomes non-comparable because of the taxation law, uh, tax, taxation laws. Uh, then the another aspect is that of employment laws. Uh, so in various different countries there are uh, strict bans and strict um, laws that you cannot hire, or you cannot, uh, uh, you, you cannot lay off or fire uh, people from your organization unless you can show that there is a need for doing that. So uh, in such countries where uh, the employees, they are protected by employment laws, you need to retain those people unless you can, uh, you can uh, surely show that there is a dire need of, take, of getting rid of those people and which is something which is very difficult to do. So therefore, because of such employment laws, if the employment laws are lenient in one country and are strict in another, it means that that is going to create non-comparable data. And then uh, finally, there are quality control checks. In some countries, uh, the contr quality control for individual performance as well as uh, for, um, uh, sub uh, for the business performance, quality control checks, they are very stringent. If they are stringent, uh, then it is not wise or sensible to compare the, um, the data of such uh, country with a country where the con uh, quality control checks are um, lenient. So we are going to talk about two examples. Uh, one example is from Brazil and another is from Peru. And uh, in Brazil, it, the, uh, you know, the author says that sales in Brazil may be skyrocketing. Uh, so the, the situation is that Brazil may be uh, sale ho rahi hai is particular subsidiary ki. But there are reports that the Brazilian government may impose tough new exchange controls within a year, thus making it difficult for the multinational to repa repatriate profits. So the Brazilian government ke initiative ki vaja se, although uh, sales, market share, everything is going good, it is skyro uh, skyrocketing. But because of the Brazilian laws, it may be difficult for the multinational to repatriate profits. They can keep on running 
their own uh, subsidiary but they won't be able to repatriate profits to uh, the parent company so does this mean that the multinational is performing effectively is the subsidiary performing effectively and are the senior managers of the subsidiary performing effectively so if they are not able to give back profits to the parent to the headquarters does that mean that the uh, the multinational is not performing effectively so these are the questions which are confusing which can create dilemma which can create a problem uh, for measuring the performance so this is a situation uh, then another one is that sales in peru may be booming but headquarters management was unaware that under the peruvian law uh, accounting rules sales on consignment are counted as firm sales sales on consignment are uh, this this is an accounting term uh, you can go and read about it on google i will explain briefly sales on consignment is that aap apne product jo hai wo kisi third party ke paas rakhwa dete hain aur jab tak wo sale but you do not get payment unless the product is actually sale uh, it is actually sold so sales on cons consignment jo hai uh that is something which has not happened but in peruvian accounting laws when you put something uh in the for example in the shelves of a retailer that is considered to be a part of sales so sales ho gayi it means that you know your profits are going to go high uh so that is a discrepancy uh so um they were not aware the headquarters were not aware that the accounting rules they consider sales on consignment as firm sales so how should the headquarters accounting system handle these sales relative to sales from other subsidiaries which do not consider sales on consignment as firm sales so over here agar unko ye nahi pata ke is jo accounting ka ke ki outcomes hain jo profits hain usme sales on consignment ek subsidiary mein added hai dusri subsidiary mein added nahi hai to wo usko kis tarah se compare karenge और जो पेरू का डेटा है वो ये शो करेगा कि सेल्स बहुत हाई जा रही हैं और सिमिलरली किसी और कंट्री का जहाँ पे सेल्स ऑन कंसाइनमेंट जो है वो अकाउंटिंग सिस्टम में नहीं ऐड की जाती तो वहाँ पे सेल्स आपको जो है वो कंपेरेबली लो लगेंगी सो इसका मतलब है कि ये इट्स नॉट बिकॉज द सेल्स आर नॉट हाई और लो इट्स बिकॉज द डेटा इज नॉट कंपेरेबल सो दीज आर टू एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम विच यू कैन infer that uh, the data of performance is non comparable in various different situations and that creates a constraint and challenge in international performance management